Okay, so for some tips and ah uh, uh, for some tips and tricks, <laughs> the first thing I have for you is essentially you can W flash and then you know so like in some situations this will be useful just like you know W flashing but um yeah you probably won't use it often and another thing we can do is we can R flash so essentially you know say I don't know. Say you're here and you see your ally being dived by the enemy assassin. You just go, ah, flash, and then you knock them away sort of thing. But, yeah, it, it, it's a very niche sort of thing when you'll use it, but it can come in handy sometimes. Okay, so another big tip I have for you is essentially you can W over walls. So, like, W and then E. So, like, say, for example, I cannot E this wall, right? But I W and then I can E him over. And yes, it even works on this wall here. You just W and then you E and then bam. Like how sick is that, bro? Okay, so one thing you can do with your Q is essentially your Q is an auto attack reset. So what you would do is auto Q auto and essentially because your Q is an auto attack reset, you auto and as soon as you're done with that auto, you straight away press Q and then you don't have to wait for yourself to like come back and try auto again. You're just instantly into the auto. So that's really helpful to like get off uh, more damage and just, yeah. So like, for example, a lot of the time you'll just like sort of E in auto and then Q straight after, and then that will just like, you know, deal more damage and get it out a lot quicker. Okay, one more little tip. You can ult people over walls. So like, say you're super low, this guy's about to kill you. Like, bam, he's gone. Like, bam. Right? And like, you know, you can just whack him back the other way if you want. Like, it is cool, funky beans. Okay, so we're placing an early war just because we're in melee support. Uh, and then we want to reset the lens just so that we can sit in the bushes and then not take free poke from them. Now, in this lane, because it's Lucian, Xin Zhao, obviously we're very strong early game. So we just want to look to like all in level two. Okay, so for runes, uh, you can kind of go whatever the hell you want. I just wanted to go Hail of Blades because I wanted to try it. So we're going with Hail of Blades, then go Sudden Impact. Uh, you can go Cheap Shot or Taste of Blood. It's just Sudden Impact is a lot better. You end up doing a fair bit more damage. And uh, Taste of Blood isn't so good anymore just because it got nerfed a bit. Um, then we can go Eyeball Collection if you want to really snowball. Otherwise, if you're in higher elo, Zombie Ward is better just because people actually play around wards. But if you're, you're in lower elo, don't even worry about warding. Just, <laughs> just go for eyeball collection. <laughs> then, um, actually I went treasure hunter. Yeah, that's right. I went treasure hunter because essentially we don't get much gold as a support. And because we're still buying uh, non-support items, we, we want to just be going for treasure hunter. Then secondary, you can kind of go whatever the hell you want. I just like to go bone playing and unflinching because I'm looking to just win lane early on. Um, obviously if they don't have much CC, we can just go overgrowth or even... Yeah, no, just go Overgrowth. I think Overgrowth is pretty cool. It, it got buffed a fair bit. It's actually pretty sick. Anyway, and then Bone Plating just helps you with that all-in potential. And then go Attack Speed, um, AD Armor. Okay, so for the build, uh, Steel Shoulder Guards, just because we're a melee support. And then Boost of Swiftness, if you want to ditch your AD carry and never see them again, because they suck. And, and so, like, you'll just roam around. Then Play the Sickups if they're heavy AD. Merc Treads if they're heavy AP or CC. Then we go Eclipse. I know this got nerfed. But honestly, I kind of like it. I like how it felt when I was playing it. So we're just going with this. And then Umble Glaive. I know, I know it got nerfed, but I just wanted to be able to kill wards in one order. So that, that's why we took it. <laughs> and then uh, you want to go with these two items just because they give you the most amount of stats for the like least amount of gold possible. So if they have more AP champs than... Uh, AD champions, you go Force of Nature first, then you build Frozen Heart. But if they got more AD champs than AP champs, go Frozen Heart, then Force of Nature. And then obviously, if they're like, you know, a full AD comp, then just max armor. And so, you know, then you go Frozen Heart, Dead Man's, and Dead Man's will help you with your engage. That also is why you sort of take Force of Nature, but also Force of Nature gives you a lot of magic resist. And then once again, if they're full AP, you can just go mail more Mortius to replace Frozen Heart. Okay, so we're going to save both stacks for the second wave just because we want to rush level two. So we want to be able to use them to just like, you know, kill the minions quicker and grab level two. The way they want to be looking to play this lane is just poke us out and play the sort of sustain game because they can do that because uh, they have good healing with Seraphine. But we are legit just going all in. That's like literally the only way we play this lane. Mm. 
I know we didn't get to all in them, but it's fine. I mean, I could have flash Eid, but I kind of didn't want to waste it because they were getting a bit close to tower. I want to shove in this wave and get it under tower, and then I'm just going to look to take a quick roam, actually. I'm going to look to go up here and just look to see what camps the enemy jungler has taken. Okay, so we see we've, he's taken all his bot side, so he's on top side then. Oh, that's okay. We, we, we got her. Oh, wait, no, sorry. We, we got AD flash. That's good. That means I can just, like, you know, Q flash E on her, and then she should just die next time. AD, A30. So flash is a five minute cooldown, and Zeri flash at about uh, 3.30. So, yeah. Nice, bro. Kill. Good stuff. Okay, we, 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 we need to leave. We don't know where the enemy mid laner is. Boom! That's why you follow up with your E first, and then, you know, you grab him with your flash. Nice. Oh, damn it. Whew! Alright, now we're running straight back to lane because Zeri is in lane here and she's going to shove this wave to us and we don't want to miss out on XP and gold. So that's why we're running straight because otherwise the wave is going to die to the tower. Um, I don't know where the enemy bot lane is. Oh, okay. Wait, you're level 4, what? Damn it. I don't know why you flashed forward, but hey. Whatevs. And this is fine because we're just annoying them XP and gold. Damn it. Oh! No way. No freaking. You know what? It's whatevs. I wish my Lucian was a bit more aggressive and, like, you know. I was like, down to just go. Are you serious, Lucian? He messed up the dash on that. Yeah. No! You piece of trash, fam. Nah, that won't hit. Ooh. Kill. Now this is good. When you're taking the tower, make sure you try let. Uh, most of the wave die just so that you can deny them XP and gold. Um, okay, so they could have frozen that wave, which would have allowed them to get back in the game, but thank god they didn't. Okay, so now that we've taken tower and it's like sort of the mid game, we want to put Lucian mid lane just because then most of the time solo laners take TP, so by having him mid, he can essentially just walk to whatever like neutral objective there is. Otherwise, if he was bot lane, he would have to like walk all the way from bot to baron, so. Yeah. Alright, so when you take that tower, make sure you place a ward up there. Now, when you shove in the wave, make sure you go in with your team and place some deep vision, because then you, it just gives you, like, control of over the map. Just take all the jungle camps. Yeah, cool. Because, like, we're just denying them XP and gold, and increasing the amount of XP and gold we are getting. Alright, so we've shoved in the wave again, and now we're just going to take these jungle camps, because... I mean, they can't really stop us, let's be real. So what we want to do is we want to shove in mid lane, then we want to move in with our team and get deep vision, and then that just like sets us up for drag, and then we can like look to get a pick, or they just like, what's it called, give dragon for free, which would be also the correct play. Oh, that's not good fam, that is not good at all. Just go for Maud fam! Kill. Alright, I am a little bit scared. Nice, baby. Alrighty, that's dragon. Ooh, actually. Damn, fam. Okay, maybe. There is a world where we win that. That's unlucky. Oh! <gasps> Okay, that's unlucky, but like, wow. Okay, nice. 
Aatrox is just top. This is okay, you know. He's catching up, but like... Yeah, no, it's fine. He, he could have been a new spot, but... Nice, bro. That's what we want. Tank for me. Thank you. Oh, what? Nice. Nice. Oh my god, this is nice. We just go, boys. And honestly... Good stuff, fam. I'm just going to focus this dude, eh? God damn it. Oof. Actually, potentially I live here. Nope, I don't. I mean, we're winning the fight though. This is good. Oh, no. At least we got the dragon. Alright, cool. We got it. Now we just leave. I don't I don't get why Lucian isn't just coming. Because like, you know, the enemy mid is dead, so this is kind of free. Because like it's a 4v5, but hey, it's what else. Alright, get the inhib. Oh god damn it. He got on top of the Nexus and then fucking healed. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. Oh, Lucian, maybe? No. Alright, uh, well, I mean, this new champion's just busted, so uh, yeah, I think that's game. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Comment what you want to see me play next, and I'll see you later.